We're back in studio. This is now. I'm Lisa with you all the way up until 8 o'clock alongside Carrie and Rishi. And uh, with me is Father Mark Georges, Roman Catholic priest. Good morning, Father. Good morning, And Lisa. also a member of Opus Dei. Yes, a pleasure to be here. Actually, I'm being just around the corner. I know. You yeah. just walked, right? I just, I, walked <laughs> I just walked around the block to get here, so that was wonderful. You got your morning exercise. Yeah, I did. And I got a wonderful greeting. I walked in and said, oh, Father Obama is here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got very excited about that. <laughs> I said if I was o Obama, I wouldn't have walked. I would have probably came in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Father, uh, so good to have you on the program. Now, this yes. is Holy Week, which started yesterday Correct. with Palm Sunday. I have the palm here. Yeah, wonderful. Um, mm -hmm. So tell us about this the Holy Week and what it means for Christians around the world. Well, we are celebrating a great story. I think it is the greatest story ever. Mm -hmm. It is a man who died... And by dying, he has redeemed us from our sins and he has opened paradise for us. You know, so mm -hmm. it's a great story of victory. It's a huge triumph, a huge battle, you know, good and evil that has since the beginning of time. And it is a, like a great, a great battle. And, and it is a one man who won not through dominating over others, but he is one through humility. And yesterday was Palm Sunday. Yes. What is the significance of Palm Sunday? I know. Uh, persons are expected to wear red, for example, and yes. sometimes called Passion Sunday. Yes, that's Tell us a little bit about it. Well, in Palm Sunday, we begin to unfold or look at or relive, we can say, you know, this, I guess you can say the final battle. And, and so what Holy Week does is, it does that. It's like, tries to take you back in time, you know, and say, come on, let's walk this together. Mm -hmm. Relive it, live it step by step and see what there is, what message is there for you for your family and for community. So you now can sort of be part of that victory yes. with Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then this week continues with the Easter Triduum. Yes. Which starts on the Thursday. Holy starts Thursday. on the Thursday. Yeah. And then it's Thursday, the Friday, and then on Saturday night with mm -hmm. the Easter Vigil. It's called a Triduum. It's mm -hmm. like a, you know, a, a chair you sits on three, you know, on three legs, mm -hmm. but it's one chair. Right. So it's like three parts, but it's really just one ceremony. Yeah. And all the different parts tie in, t tie in together mm -hmm. in, a, in a very nice way. So Holy Thursday, tell us about that. I know Rishi was very keen to find out about the washing mm -hmm. of the feet yes. and so on. Yes. Okay. So okay, when we begin Ho Holy Thursday, we are sort of entering in that final part of, of that story. So Holy Thursday, I mean, when you look at the, at the liturgy, the, it begins, for example, the tabernacle in the church is open. So sort of saying, well, there is, there is the first mass has not been celebrated yet. Mm -hmm. Sort of trying to take you back, you know, to live, to live through you know, those step by step what is happening. And then afterwards in the ceremony, there is uh, the washing of the feet, you know, for example. So Jesus Christ, in fact, he washed the feet of his apostles mm -hmm. and he told them why. He says... You know, what, just what I have done, you should do to others. And he gave them a commandment. He says, as I have loved you, you also should love one another. So we mentioned this is a story about, about a great victory, but it's really a story also about love. Mm -hmm. It is God's outpouring of love. And as we live the history, we see how can I respond to God's love, be worthy of his love, yeah. and being a better person. So I'm going to ask you a question that Rishi asked me over the weekend. Yes. There's a picture of Pope Francis kissing the leader's feet. Yes. And he was asking me if that's a custom in the Catholic Church. So my response was, yes. you know, after the washing of the feet, Jesus yes. kissed the feet as a sign of humility. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, it, it is. Now, keep in mind that in Holy Thursday, that the events that take part are historical events. Hmm? So, in fact, you know, we, I, I said it's a nice story but it's actually history, you know, hard facts, this really happened. So the church is very careful to reenact things according to the history. So the Pope who kisses the feet of uh, a leader may be a gesture that he chooses in appropriate time, in appropriate context, but he's not reenacting something that happened in history. So the two things are actually very, very different. Okay, and um, Good Friday. So in Good Friday, so after living, going into Holy Thursday, we go into the Good Friday ceremonies. And here again, in the morning, you get up and there's the way of the cross. Mm -hmm. the, that takes part in different um, parts of different parishes. So Christians, we're invited to actually relive and 
in Trinidad, you know, we, we tend to be very dramatic. So in many places, <laughs> it's dramatically done. I don't think anybody's actually going to be whipped or nailed to a cross. But in some countries, right? they do but that. No, They're more dramatic so. than us. <laughs> they know? do. I, I will get the no, footage for like you. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I Not think Trinidad well, and Tobago, but I okay. know some countries, they actually yeah. reenact the... <laughs> Well, yeah. we um we try to relive, but we don't take it that far. No, not in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, <laughs> not in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let me say that um that like anything else, you know, it's important to make the effort to go out and have mm -hmm. this experience. Mm -hmm. You know that in our country, unfortunately, many persons do not attend the Easter ceremonies. Yes, and so and it's so important to make that little extra effort. I was chatting with a friend, a colleague of mine. I'm an old St. Mary's boy. Yeah. And growing up, it was Toba, Valdez, and we had also a lot of priests giving us religious instruction. And so many of us were, in, were very connected with our faith. Some have strayed. And one friend of mine was telling me recently, he says, you know, I was thinking, you know what it is? I think we need to make that little extra effort on our own to go out and be there, attend these ceremonies and allow it to enrich our lives. Mm -hmm. And I think that is something that is very important. We can talk about this story and the richness of the liturgy, but if we're not making the effort to partake of it and enrich ourselves by it, in the end, it, has, it doesn't have much of an impact. Okay, well, tomorrow I want to talk about Easter Sunday itself and yes. the Easter season, because yes. Easter is not just a day or weekend, it's actually a season. That's correct. Um, yes. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow, if you can walk across again. Yes, but I'll, right now, I know we'll Rishi see. asked, the, if mm -hmm. you can tie the cross, you want it to show. You want yes, to show. I want to learn but how to tie it. Yes. You have to bring yours because I think you well, need more than one. Come on. Yes. You need more than one? Yeah. No, just, well, let's try. Let's use Wishy's for now. Oh, well, okay. you know that um, because it's not so flexible, Granny Knot wouldn't work, right? Right. So, <laughs> if granny Knot, that sounds uh, like a granny scout knot, knot. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, okay. you go closely. You well, the knot I use is, you know, I'm a scout, huh? Oh, okay. Have, no, so we have, have different knots, <laughs> right? Scout, yeah. So I've tried different. And for me, what, what I find works best is the clove hitch. Right. But the clove hitch is a little tricky. Let's see if Rishi can get this. The right? last time I tried to tie Richie, a knot, you, on were you a I scout? Did not were you ever a no, scout? No, I was not. I grew up in the bush. bush. No? <laughs> All right. Okay. That's it. That's good then. <laughs> okay. So I'm what, what I do then is, yeah. I take, okay. what I do, I take the, you take the one end and you kind of roll it, go it over the, the, the other one. Leaving quite a bit of extra on, on uh, coming over here, right? Right. So that, yeah, perfect. Right. Okay. So then you kind of then what you do is you just wrap it around like this, mm -hmm. kind of wrap it around, mm -hmm. and then you. Tr what I do then I just wrap this piece around again here. This is where I get confused. No, you see, this is a little tricky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you see, you have like an X here, right? right. You kind of so have like an X when you hold it like this. You kind of when you have it like that. You see, yeah. you have a little X there like this. Yeah. Good. Right. So you just kind of wrap it around and. Kind of try and bring it through here again, through the middle of the X then, okay? Let me just show you it again. So when you wrap it around here, the X, it has to kind of come around and then come through the middle here again, right? Okay? <laughs> Maybe she's getting it. Yeah, and then once it comes through the middle there, you got it. You can you can then pull and tie and this one shouldn't break. And there you have your little... Is this something like it? Yeah, that's it. Perfect. There you go. go. <laughs> Richie, a round of applause for Richie. Yeah. I didn't know Excellent. Thank you very much, Father Okay, Mark so George's. the next thing would be to get Richie to come to, to the Easter tree room. Oh. I, th I think that would be much dif more difficult than tying on that. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so at all, Lisa. <laughs> yes? Would you be going? Mm. <coughs> oh, look at that. Mm. Father, wow. how do we get Lisa to come? That wow. may be a bit more difficult. I go every year, but this year I won't be here, and you know that. <laughs> I'll have to go in the sky. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Wonderful. Let's take a few messages. When we come back, we find out how the Jehovah Witness commemorate uh, commemorates uh, Easter weekend here in Trinidad and Tobago.